welcome to today's demo dive of Dungeons of Clay, a procedurally generated bullet heck game developed and published by Shot X Studio, set to enter early access October 19th, 2020. The concept of the game is quite simple. You and Robert, your ghost companion, who possesses now two IQ because he stole one from Thomas the Smart Cat, fall into a well where you meet the Collector who tells you about the unconquered dungeon adventurers are always dying in. So naturally, you jump right in. After entering the dungeon, a procedurally generated floor is created for the player. There are enemies, treasure chests, traps, and doors to the next floor scattered about. Each enemy has a chance to drop gold, keys, health kits, and armor. These treasure chests can drop items and or guns, which I'll talk about more in depth later. Once you have defeated all the enemies on the floor, the game presents the Fate Wheel. This wheel spins to give the player a random event at the end of every floor. I saw events like Reinforcements, Gold Rain, and Bubbles, just to name a few. Once you have completed the event, you enter one of the doors on the floor, each one costing a different number of keys and leading to a different location. These locations can be shops, or chests, or just another room of enemies if you do not have any keys. After a few floors, you fight the first boss, and this loop continues once more. For now, the demo only reaches the second boss, after which it ends and you can loop again, similar to games like Enter the Gungeon or Nuclear Throw. The game promises a progression-filled permadeath experience. As you play, there are golden cards that grant permanent bonuses across runs, as well as stones of power, which are boss drops. You choose up to two stones before a run, which grant special bonuses like increased damage or health. The Steam description says that Dungeons of Clay is really applying to everything within the dungeon being made out of clay. However, I think this clay aesthetic is an example of telling instead of showing. Without the name of the game and this description, I would not have been able to identify this solid theme. The only examples that I would say fit are maybe the main character and the bosses have some clay elements to them. The monster design is not unified behind this idea either of being formed from clay. I would love to see some more enemy design that focuses on that idea, as well as sprucing up character models and attacks to look like clay is being shot out or something along those lines. At first the visual design of the background was a little jarring to look at. With time it became easier but still made the bullet heck aspect just a bit too difficult. The UI was well designed and its design will be familiar to most people who have played any games of this same vein. The soundtrack for each floor is interesting but not distracting. There seems to be a theme for each biome and I found the music to be an overall strength of the game. But the best music was from the collector and his saxophone. I didn't mind dying because I was immediately greeted by his majestic doots. I would say that the sound design of the game is another sore spot for it. Gun sound effects are generic and not impactful. The enemies are almost silent and thus have less weight to their movement. I have faith that the developer can improve upon these concepts though and improve the sound design in the future. I have three points to discuss here. First, after the Fate Wheel event is completed, large doors open text appears on screen. This isn't a problem for most events, but there are some that technically end as soon as they begin, so your screen is blocked by this text as you are trying to navigate the floor. Second would be the boss design of Baba Yoga. You basically just jump around until she performs a special attack that you shoot at, which then needs to hit her to do damage. I thought this fight was a slog for all the wrong reasons. The only thing to tweak would be to make the shot home in on her no matter where you hit it from. I had no trouble in the fight, but I was just in the wrong spot too many times to hit her. Third, the items and weapons need to be spruced up. 
With no visual representations for each of the guns, I never felt excited about switching. This would be a great place to lean into the idea of the clay aesthetic. For example, a shotgun that releases clay pellets that shatter on impact. The items were never impactful in a noticeable way either. Each only provided small percentage bonuses to stats or minor mechanics changes. The one that comes to mind was a 3% range increase, which changed nothing in my playstyle on that run. Adding more meaningful items and balancing them would make me more excited to pick them up, but I almost stopped reading the flavor text entirely by the end of my time with the game. Dungeons of Clay is a great one more run style game that despite some rough edges, I loved my time with. As the game enters early access, I see a lot of potential in it. If the developers continue to focus on variety and tightening the gameplay, it will enter that list of games to fill whatever 15 minute break you have. I wish the best to Shot X Studio and hope their game gets the attention it deserves. Thanks for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, as well as wishlist Dungeons of Clay on Steam to be informed of any updates. See you next time.